talk to the film critic James King, who joins us from our central London studio. And James, clearly a terrific shock to the film industry. How best will Tony Scott be remembered, do you think? Uh, well, you know, it's like Stephen Woolley said in, in that piece there, it's, it's an action movie director, but not just any action movie director. I think what he brought to action movies was a really visceral experience. You know, when you went to watch a Tony Scott movie, you didn't just sit back in your chair and let it wash over you. You were really immersed in the action because of the way that he shot things, because of the way that he edited things. Um, it was really energetic filmmaking. And he had a very diverse career, of course, started in advertising, went to films, and uh, he had a good television career as well. Yeah, I mean, as a TV producer, he was making hit TV shows. Um, as a film producer, he was producing things as well as being behind the camera. And just in terms of style as well, I think he was diverse. We remember, of course, Top Gun, his second film, his biggest film, uh, as sort of the archetypal 80s movie. But then... Ten years later, he made True Romance with a, a Quentin Tarantino script, you know, very much a 90s movie. So he did move with the times and adapt his style. Tony, James, thanks very much. James King.